Hello and welcome to another video by Day Night Gaming. This is part 6 in our ongoing series in which I'll be showcasing as well as discussing my thoughts and views on the conversation route for female light-sided Sith warrior in the MMORPG known as Star Wars The Old Republic. Now this is the conclusion to the second planet known as Dronwyn Koss and uh, so far if you've seen my previous videos uh, you'll know that uh, I've been quite entertained so far up until this point and uh, this part of the, the chapter uh, at the end of it it rewards you with a special prize which I was also very happy to obtain so um, you know th this part was uh, very fulfilling for me and uh, I was very happy and anyways uh, I'll, uh, here are the videos I uh, hope you enjoy it was foolish of you to return here uh oh looks like we got another fight on our hands those pieces you took from my minions belong to me. They will enable me to exact my revenge on Lord Farshal. I am Lord Vacuous, the conqueror of Begeddon, the killer of Garatak the Singed. Return what you have stolen or burn. You don't look like a Sith to me. Perhaps your vision will improve in death. <laughs> When I sent you into the Dark Temple for the Ravager, I thought it might be the last time I saw you, Apprentice. The prisoner grows weaker by the minute. There's no time to spare. Stand back and bear witness. You're wasting your time. I will not. Yes, the Ravager has seized his mind. Excellent. In his condition, we don't have long before the ordeal liquefies all brain matter. Maybe he'll last longer if you reduce the pain. The pain drives the device's effectiveness. Republic Worm, you have the information I desire. Tell me everything. I am Republic Information Service on special assignment to verify possible Imperial spy on Nar Shaddaa, commissioned by Jedi Council, acting on suspicions provided by Master Noman Carr. Noman Carr. That's a name I grow tired of hearing. Are you going to keep me in the dark, old man? Noman Carr is a Jedi Master who infiltrated the Sith. I rooted him out. Then he nearly destroyed me and fled. He's dedicated himself to proving that the Sith have spies embedded within Republic and Jedi ranks. I've thwarted him at every turn, but he is tenacious. How did Noman Carr come to suspect my spy on Nar Shaddaa? Tell me, Republic wretch, what alerted him? Master, Noman Carr has a new Padawan. She seems to know any being's true nature. She senses hidden darkness and untapped purity. Astonishing. I've never heard of the Force granting such a gift. Tell me, how does her power work? All I... all I know is when Master Noman Carr brought her to Nar Shaddaa, this Padawan sensed darkness in your spy simply by seeing him. 
What's a Padawan? That is what the Jedi call their trainees. It means she is not yet a Jedi. If this young Padawan can see through deception and disguise with such little effort, she threatens everything I have worked for. Continue, Republic dog. Char believes his Padawan's ability is foolproof. But the Jedi Council is skeptical. I was to provide the proof, but I wasn't able to report my findings. We must know more about this Padawan. Yes, my apprentice. Such a threat must not wander the galaxy unchecked. Who is this Padawan, you Republic pest? Tell me everything you know about her. She was found on Alderaan. Her power first emerged, training on Tatooine. And Jedi sent another agent to investigate someone she suspected on Balmora. It's fading. Is she human or one of the Jedi's cursed aliens? Where can I find her? What is her name? I have no nothing... nothing more... more... Uh, uh. The Ravager has emptied his mind. That is all we have to go on. A few random places within the greater galaxy where Noman Carr and his Padawan have been. Spotty details at best. We have our work cut out for us. You mirror my thoughts, Apprentice. Noman Carr is a relentless crusader, and this Padawan and her unprecedented power threaten everything I have achieved. Your duties are likely to take you to the far reaches of the galaxy. I will need to deploy you at will. You shall have a starship of your own. You've earned it. Go to my personal hangar in the spaceport and claim it. You bet I've earned it. This is long overdue, Barris. I'm the one who dictates the timing of such things. I must ponder our next move. Waste no time. Get your starship in my hangar and wait for further instructions. Yeah, uh, let's go before he tells me to clean all this up, okay? Wow. Take a look at that. We're going in style now. Nice ship. Are you leaving, Dromund Kass? You have something to say about that? On the contrary, I have a going away present for you. Selvanta Grathen sent me to deliver this token of her appreciation for all you've done for her. It will greatly enhance this new ship of yours. Tell her I said thank you. I'm afraid I won't be able to do that. You see, Selvanta's husband, Lord Grathen, has a different present he wants me to deliver. Apparently, he says you know too much. So, he seeks to shut me up. He seeks to slice you up. Shutting you up will just be a beneficial side effect. I've murdered just about every form of sentient being in the galaxy, and I'm here for you. I mean, greetings. I am 2VR8, factotum droid for this vessel. You must be my new master. Gentle, kind new master. Do I seem gentle to you? Tell me your attack protocols, droid. I was not constructed for violence, master. But I am still useful. I am programmed for a wide array of tasks, including but not limited to meal preparation, ship maintenance, janitorial duty, and etiquette. Welcome aboard this Fury-class Imperial Interceptor, a versatile craft combining a starfighter's maneuverability with armament to rival larger military vessels.
you'll find all of the standard amenities, including your own private captain's locker for storing valuables. The astrogation console contains a constantly updated map of the known galaxy. Interstellar communications are accessed via the ship's holo terminal. Priority alerts that you may find useful are available from the Imperial Holonet console. Lastly, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to issue new orders. Any questions, Master? Are you at least capable of providing security while I'm not aboard? I regret I am unable to offer you combat support, Master. Frankly, my chassis couldn't withstand the stress. However, should any errands arise that are beneath your superior status, please do not hesitate to call upon me. I function to serve you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on your bridge. It will program the proper astrogation coordinates and activate the engines. Apprentice, I trust you find your starship satisfactory? I've seen better. If you want better, you'll learn to show appreciation. There is much to be done. My interests must be protected and my enemies destroyed. Noman Carr's efforts to expose my spies and prove his Padawan's power to the Jedi Council must meet with systemic failure. You will exhaust yourself in this charge. Where do you suggest I begin? The information we siphoned from that Republic agent will be our map. We know my spy on Nar Shaddaa was being surveilled. We know where this Padawan was discovered, where she trained, and that the Jedi have sent someone to investigate my spy on Balmora. The Padawan will have to be hunted down and destroyed, but first you must secure my network by silencing my spies on Balmora and Nar Shaddaa. Is it wise to put off destroying the Padawan? If the Jedi acquire proof of my spy network, Noman Kar wins. We must mop up the potential leaks first. My contacts on Balmora and Nar Shaddaa will detail what must be done. Your tasks are paramount, Apprentice. Bring cruelty. Bring rage. Bring death. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider smashing that thumbs up button. Uh, hit that subscribe and ring that bell uh, for notifications on future videos that I might be posting. And until next time, take care. Goodbye.